we're going to review the Outlook inbox to see the following. Business alerts directly from Dynamics GP. This applies to both business essentials and uh, the advanced management or the standard and the professional versions that people are on. We're going to look at smart tags. It's information at your fingertips, and I'll tell you more about that in just a few minutes. We're going to talk about FRX reports being published within the Outlook environment and what it means to the end user, the ease of access to data, and the ability to email financials and have them drill down the data directly from an email. We're going to talk about various types of reporting that are available within the FRX reports catalog and uh, various samples of reports you can get there. I'm going to focus on Charlie's reports and some sales reports in Microsoft Outlook and how they got there and I'll show you how they appear. And then we're going to talk, again, the sales reports, I mentioned that. And then we're going to talk about SRS. SRS stands for SQL Reporting Services and how it's done inside the business portal. And then we're going to talk about various financial reports from a BI foundation, from a reports catalog to digital dashboards inside the business portal. Now, for those that don't have business portal, uh, we will well, talk about this when I get into the business portal. I'll show you what it is, but uh, uh, you know we can get offline later. And uh, if you want more information on the business portal and how that works, we can certainly talk about that. So a brief survey. Uh, those that are in the uh, session here, I'm going to just have them raise their hand, and you guys can just think about that that are online. Uh, how many on a daily basis deal with business intelligence? Jason? Well, like you said, it depends on what your definition of business intelligence is. Okay, so Jason <laughs> reports to the first question, it depends on what business intelligence is. Tyler is here. Your thoughts, Tyler? I'm sure I do in one way or another. In one way or another, he reports he does. David, in one way or another, do you deal with business intelligence on a daily basis? Uh, not on a daily basis, but... Uh, okay, day reports, yeah. not on a daily basis, but I'll venture, and I will challenge anybody online, you deal with BI the second you step into your car. What's the first thing you look at, typically? Your gas gauge. Is that intelligence? It is. When you're going down the freeway, are you looking at your speedometer? That's intelligence, that's knowledge. It is a digital gas gauge. So this is why I say on a daily basis, we deal with business intelligence. It's just, what is it? What is business intelligence? So, okay, so the next question, I don't know. How many have heard of the term business intelligence dashboards? Just raise your hands. All three of you, okay. And for those that are online, I'm sure many of you have heard of those as well. So how many use Excel right now on a day-to-day -day basis? 100%. Okay. How many use Excel pivot tables on a regular daily basis? No hands go up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask another question in conjunction to that, then, do you guys know what a pivot table is? Okay. You know what it is, but you don't use it. Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, how many use FRX reports? Just one. Interesting. I'm sure that the guys that are online actually do, and many of you have started using SQL reporting services in parentheses here, it would be SRS. So, here's the last question. How many have used Outlook to publish your financial reports and give your people access to financial information? I see a shaking of a head. How many times? Four times here now? Nobody's using Outlook to publish reports. But when you get through today, that's the session. Putting business intelligence at the fingertips of your managers, directors, employees by using Outlook and taking advantage of that. And uh, what happens, uh, well, I'll just explain that later. I don't want to get too far ahead. Okay. So that gives me a foundation of where to start. Business intelligence, by definition, is what you define it as. I mean, it's a very, if you do a query on the internet and go Google search and type in business intelligence, when I did it last time, I got 1.9 million hits as far as defining business intelligence. So again, it does mean, as Jason said, a different things to different people. So 
depending upon your role, is it a return on equity? Is it a return on invested capital? Is it a return on in, to your investors? Okay, I'm going to put a couple more out here. Cost of goods sold, a lot of people deal with that on a daily basis. Earnings before interest and tax, EBITDA. Compound annual growth rates, I'll throw a couple more out here. Inventory turns, operating capital turnover, asset turnover. Now, that is just but a tiny fraction of what we call business intelligence. Every single one of those things that I just brought up is business intelligence. But when you try and diagnose it and look at it, we end up getting into this mode, okay? I did that because our heads start to spin. When you see too much data, you end up not being able to comprehend what you're seeing. So I'm going to show you one report, one example here. I, I, you, I've showed this before. Oh darn, you know what I just realized. Um, let's keep out of here for a second. That has a hyperlink over to here. Okay, let me bring this up and uh, I'll show you this one dashboard that I show quite regularly doing, doing demonstrations. And uh, it's this one here. So I'll maximize this, and for those that are watching, uh, what this is, it actually goes out and does a query to the SQL tables, and if you were looking closely, some of these digital gas gauges were actually moving because they were looking at the data and bringing the, uh, the uh, analysis information into this view. Now in this view, there's multiple views because I use this in a demonstration uh, uh, event. And so, in an example here, this is just simply a college, and a college has multiple departments. Businesses often have multiple departments. And so, if you had this kind of BI running, business intelligence, it is a digital gas gauge. So as I move down through the departments, if you'll kind of take a look here at the five-year trend line, you can see there's actually a budget, fiscal year, English department has a different budget, surplus, deficit, and so forth. Now, you'll notice that the gas gauges actually change as well. As I go through here, each and every one of them are dynamically moving based upon who are, the department I chose. So, we're taking a lot of data and putting it in a form that's easily recognizable. Now, if you've got some ranges set here that you're supposed to be in the green, then you're okay if you're in the green. If it's yellow, you're caution. If it's red, you're in trouble. So down here, my net surplus actually is a deficit, so this department is in trouble. Now, we can use digital dashboards in another way. You can do what they call what if. If I wanted to make this department become profitable, I have two options, cut costs or increase revenues, correct? So let's just say if I cut headcount, maybe one FTE, not quite enough. So if I go two FTEs, I'm break even. But you know, in the real world, uh, typically we don't cut FTE, so I'll leave that there at the headcount here. I may want to say I want to increase revenues 10%, 5%. So I'm able here in a very clear, concise manner to generate some new what if scenarios. So I go back to the headcount here and the head department manager here and say, you got to increase your revenues by 10% or we're going to have to cut your program. Okay, very simple, straightforward. So that's just one example of a BI digital ba dashboard that uh, we could put on your system. Uh, I call that analysis cubes for Excel. And uh, let me get out of here and back into my image here. So go from the slide. We're, okay, we went through this slide. Actually, I should go to the next slide right here. Okay. kind of funny because in the VPC me this is a little slower. Okay, Webster's definition of business intelligence is business, the buying and selling of commodities and services for trade, and intelligence. Now here's where we're going to focus today. Everybody does services and, and trade, okay? We're going to focus on the perception, the discernment, the ability to respond quickly and successfully to a new situation and to learn from experience to solve a problem. 
getting back to that BI uh, digital dashboard I just showed you a minute ago, the problem was they were over budget. They, they were in a net deficit. So we had to fix it. And that type of a BI uh, example is what we do here on a quarterly basis and publish that information to all of the uh, people in the company. So the goal of the business intelligence is, is to improve operational efficiencies. So let me move this up a bit. This is a uh, informationbuilders.com put this out on their website, so I thought it was quite appropriate for our overview today. And I am not going to read that. Those that are in attendance can read it themselves. But the message is... You